Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twisted Iron Projects. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little something for my garden that I've recently started. So I'm very new to this, but I've realized that instead of leaving the bags of whatever I planted out with the labels on it to keep track of what it is, it'd be a lot nicer if I had little signs. And so what I've made are these little stakes that you put in your garden that'll hold a little wooden sign on it that way you keep track of what it is you're growing and where it's at. If you want to see how I made these, make sure to stick around. So to start this project off, I am using quarter inch round bar. Uh, for my uh, signs, I'm doing 11 to 12 inches tall. This length will really determine as to how high up or how large of a sign you want in your garden. I want them relatively close to the ground, that way the 50 plus mile an hour winds don't take off with my wooden sign. I do put a pretty good hook on there to keep him in place, but just in case, want to be safe. So, here to start off with, we are doing a fairly long taper. I brought it out to about an inch, inch and a half. This is going to be the part that drives down into the ground. Now on the opposite end, I'm going to do a fairly blunt taper, only about a quarter inch. This is going to be the hook that actually holds onto the sign. Don't want to be too, too sharp to where you're stabbing yourself trying to put your signs on there. So I did do a blunt taper on this one. We're gonna start it off square, and then we go octagon, kinda of round it up just a little bit. It doesn't need to be too smooth. Next, we're gonna come over to the horn here. It would be nice to build a jig if you plan on making a lot of these, but the horn just works fine for me because I'm only making about a dozen. So I'm gonna curl it over. I want about a one inch diameter uh, hook for this section that's gonna be holding onto the sign. So we will do a little bit of fine tuning to this later on in the video. And this is just to get it started off. Now that we got that part taken care of, we are going to be doing the back bend on it. Now I do recommend go ahead and co cooling off and some water quenching the first hook that you made. It does make this process a lot easier. Unfortunately, my camera died when I was recording that part when I actually attempted to cool off but it does improve the results quite a bit. Makes it a lot easier to make this hook. We're gonna start by just kind of bending back a little bit, get everything started off, and then we'll come in and finish up here in just a sec. Like I said, we're gonna do the cooling quenching of the very first hook there. We're gonna keep bending that on around until it touches the main body of the stake. This is really just for aesthetic view. I kind of like the rounded over top, as well as if you want to make a couple extra of these, you can go ahead and run a rope through there, some string, whatever you'd like. It gives a little bit more versatility. Now that we got that brought back over, we're going to just kind of touch up and bring that hook in a little bit closer. Like I said, we get really windy out here on my ranch, and I want to make sure that this uh, wooden sign isn't going to take off in the wind. So I'm going to bring that hook in nice and close. Do a little bit of cleanup, make sure everything's straight. And it's really about it right there. And say so it doesn't take a whole lot for this project, which is why I'm really happy with it. Very simple, easy to make, and can come in really handy if you have a small garden. Then you just take a small little piece of wood, drill a hole into it. I used, I did 3 8 hole, made it to where it went on there fairly easy, but it was also still fairly snug. And that's really about it. Throw a little bit of paint on that wood, Go ahead and write on it whatever you want for your, uh, whatever you planted there. Stab it in the ground and you are good to go. I hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe, throw a like down there, and as always, stay classy, party on. 